Welcome, everybody, to another half-ass beer review. My name is Josh. Let's check out this new beer. This beer is dedicated to a select group of people. You definitely see them. Clouds rolling out the window. Big clouds flying in the air. Fat clouds. You definitely smell Banana fosters, coconut cream, apple pie, raspberry, lemonade, pink tequila. I don't know. This, this episode goes out to all you vapers. And this beer is called Vape Tricks. This is a sour ale aged on cherries. It comes from Perry Artisan Ales, Krebs, Oklahoma. 5.9% ABV. On Untapped, this has a rating of 3.74 with almost 38,000 check-ins. That's a lot of people that tried this beer. That's a pretty solid rating, 3.74 out of 5. That's a pretty solid rating for how many people that have tried this. I'm expecting this to be uh, light, crisp, refreshing. I want it to be like a red color when I pour it out, or at least a pink, like a pink lemonade. That's what I'm getting out of it. Um, the... The can art on this is undeniably the only can art you could want. It's basically a bunch of different clouds coming out of mouths. And it's ridiculous stuff like George Washington, a football helmet, a robot, roller skates, airplanes, dogs, hamburgers, peace sign. Just, just crazy stuff. It's out of hand like vaping itself. Personal opinion. I'm sorry if I offend any of you vapers out there. I just think it's ridiculous. I know a lot of vapors, and I give them shit for it all the time. It's just the way it is. But it, it's cool. It's uh, pink, right? And the clouds are white. The mouths are green. Tongues are yellow. I don't know if that has anything to do with vaping. But uh, cool colors. It's a cool name, Vape Tricks. That's cool. Uh, I think the colors do a really good job of standing out with the white on the pink. Let's open this up. Let's pour it. Let's look at it, smell it, taste it, and get a review out of it. Nice crack there. Let's see what we got. All right, so it's got that pink lemonade color like I was hoping. I can kind of see through, not really. Uh, got a lot of bubbles. Kind of off-white, almost a pinkish uh, head on it. Getting that sour ale smell, a little bit of cherry on there. Actually, it's got a pretty nice cherry smell to it. That's what I was hoping. If you age it on cherries, it, it has to have a big cherry smell, right? Or else you probably didn't give it enough cherry. Uh, let's give it a taste. As always, on half ass Beer Review, little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. 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 Okay. I see what's going on here. Okay, not super sour. Just a little sour. It's got tartness to it. On the back end, the cherries really come through. Like, it's got a really deep cherry flavor. Very bubbly feel on the tongue. Yeah, that cherry flavor really comes in on the back end. This is a pretty enjoyable, uh, refreshing, pretty crisp beer. Like I said, it's nothing... The flavor, the cherry flavor doesn't really hit you to the back end. It's just like a normal sour ale. Until that kicks in in the back end. It's a pretty good beer. Uh, let me take another drink, and I will give you a rating. Yeah, again, nothing too sour. Nice tart feel to it. Very crisp, refreshing. And that cherry on the back end is a very nice touch. It's not, it's not throughout the whole 
It's not throughout the whole drink, just on the back end. Very nice beer, very good. Um, I'm gonna give this beer, uh, Vape Tricks, I'm gonna give it a rating of 4.6. Um, very good. It's on the top half of being, you know, a very good beer. Nothing spectacular, nothing to make it a great beer, but I could see myself drinking this beer again and enjoying it. Perfect for a hot summer day, maybe after you're done mowing the lawn or just, you know, a beach day or anything like that. Uh, I recommend this. Uh, Prairie Artisan Ales really hasn't let me down yet. They've never had anything like outstanding or amazing, but just like a solid lineup of beer. A lot of sours. I think the only thing that kind of let me down was their Christmas bomb. It just wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. A lot of people hype it up. And it was just, it's good, but it wasn't great or amazing or anything like that. But yeah, Vape Tricks, that's, that's a great beer. 4.6. Excuse me, that's, that's a good beer. 4.6. Um, yeah, and I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of it. And I highly recommend you get it too. I uh, picked this up at Eastman Party Store. But I've saw it at um, Ideal Party Store as well. I'm sure you can get it in a lot of places. A lot of places that sell this stuff. Um, probably Boardwalk and Saginaw or Cork and Ale and stuff like that. Uh, they're pretty well distributed now. So you shouldn't have a problem not finding them like I was during the winter. Yeah, but that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It's right down there. It looks like this. But if you vape, I highly suspect it might not be getting a thumbs up like this. Uh, James, I know you watch some of these. <laughs> I'm talking to you specifically. Um, but if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Uh, clicking the bell keeps you up to date and notifies you every time I post a new one of these videos. But until next time, please keep your fridges full and have a great night. <laughs>